Hi, my name is Emma Dooley. I'm the new manager of education and outreach for SPUC, and I wish to share with you my very important new presentation on coercion and DIY abortion. This is one of nine presentations in the Love and Responsibility School Package, now available to secondary schools. For the past six years, these presentations have been successfully delivered in 10% of Scottish schools, and now they are being made available across the UK. Our up-to-date factual information and stats are always proposed in a positive way uh, and not imposed. Our student feedback states that over 95% of students were glad they heard the presentation. This new presentation explains wh what coercion is, how to spot it, and strongly encourages students to resist any form of coercion. Basically, it gives your pupils a chance to pause, take a step back, and see if they themselves are experiencing any level of coercion in sexual matters, or perhaps a family member or friend is being coerced. We always encourage the pupils to speak to an adult they trust, especially a member of the pastoral team within the school. It's important for students to be reminded that even if they feel like they are all alone, this is not the case, and support is available. In this new presentation, we look at the spectrum of coercion and hear the testimony of women who are coerced into abortion, all the while emphasizing how all coercion is wrong. The section on DIY or at-home abortion looks at how this drastic change to abortion law was pushed through at the beginning of the COVID pandemic, what the reality of at-home abortion looks like. We read some stories that made the news and we hear from a courageous girl who deeply regrets her DIY abortion and she identifies the coercion she endured and where she found support and healing. I'm still taking bookings for this school term and next year so if you're interested or you require further information, just contact me. I look forward to hearing from you and complimenting the great work you are already doing in your school.